Oh, cool. We're live. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. This is May 31st, 2019, and uh, Friday, 6 30 p.m. my time, Pacific time. And we're doing a stream on just an open discussion on current events, uh, usually it's news, politics, economics, investing, technology. Uh, markets whatever markets they may be but we do deviate uh, a lot go off on tangents and sometimes just focus on one topic um, so that's what we're doing today and there's a lot going on in the world there's a lot going on in the world right tremendous amount of things going on in the world uh, I've been following news for a while this is one of the don't remember a heavy cycle as this hello x how are you doing welcome to the live stream nice to see you man <laughs> i don't know how this started x. but it's good to see you good to see you i like it i like it um yeah so that's what the discussion is today um and tomorrow at uh, 10 a.m we're doing um, we're doing a math stream lizard how are you doing welcome to another live stream we're doing a stream on uh, math okay good to see you as well thanks man thank you <laughs> nice to be here it's been a week it's a really busy period right now for me for school starsky how are you doing how's life Starsky and Hutch. How's Hutch doing? <laughs> Do you know what I'm what I'm referring to? <laughs> Great lasagna. How's it going, man? How's how's life? How's your Friday? Doing well. It's been a good week. Busy week. It's coming towards the last three weeks of school, so I'm getting oh, my some of my regular students. They need more times, and I'm getting random people contacting me saying we need help we need help with math so i'm trying to fit people in uh, so that's interesting keeps me busy Sus, how are you doing who's buying uh west jet chicho do you know yeah it's um it's a guy that has tried to buy uh where is that the takeover there's two things going on in canada regarding airlines right there's consolidation happening one of them is a guy that is uh trying to merge trying to buy air canada um and he tried again like tried like 20 30 years ago to do it and another one is another company buying out WestJet. and like i looked into it a little bit we have family uh that's working at WestJet, so but it seems like uh, you know it is what's what happens industries basically grow and then during certain periods they go consolidate right so there's mergers and acquisitions and stuff and then does a little shift grow does it again right you do this a few times and you end up with uh, what we have now with media and stuff consolidation and certain industries being monopolized right it's currently 2 two thirty two in the UK and I can't sleep and you're the medicine thank God awesome Starsky awesome oh yes Hutch is fine I saw him the other day cool. <laughs> nice competition yeah um competition uh the market adjusting as well um because if you were around um like airline tickets are incredibly cheap they've been incredibly cheap for like a long time now like 15 20 years flying has been really cheap relative to what it used to be uh, so I'm not sure if this is a sign of ticket prices are going to start kicking up or they're just stabilizing I don't know uh, it's not something I look at too much uh, uh, in the airline industry because I'm not flying around anymore right before I was uh, I kept track of things and you know you you looked around to see where you could get the best seats and the best best uh, treatment right best service and stuff like that but I don't do that anymore so um, all I know is a little bit of consolidation happening and uh, there may be price wars coming up as well 
there may be price wars coming up thank you for the sub uh, uh, for the follow uh, bubble but there might be price wars coming up because these two organizations institutions individuals that are buying up these airlines or merging these airlines they want to get as many clients retain as many clients as possible so I'm pretty sure they're gonna start giving pretty good deals for a little bit of time anyway bubble spoon hey unfortunately today I won't be able to hang out uh, for too long but it's always nice to come by and say hello at least thanks for dropping by lasagna thanks for dropping by oh bubble 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 bubbles out <laughs> sorry bubble you're out I'm a, I'm I'm a I'm a very uh, quick uh, referee right now, right? Red card right away, gone. No, no warning, no, no nothing. <laughs> Eduardo, how are you doing? <laughs> These news on the signs that you are sharing are very concerning, very concerning indeed, Eduardo. Very concerning indeed, right? Bubble, great lasagna. Bubble went pop up. <laughs> Bubble popped. <laughs> first strike that's it no strike <laughs> you're out <laughs> consider consider the the platform right now uh <laughs> <red card. laughs> yeah it's 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 uh it's a battlefield right now so you poke your head out and say something silly right. ko he got ko yeah it's just there's a lot going on right so I, everyone knows i'm okay with trolls and stuff it's sometimes fun you play around hopefully you convince some of them to hang around a while and uh you know try to get a little bit of info they can troll but troll on a more intelligent level troll aim high man or even aim above aim above the table anyway <laughs> don't don't be like way down there <laughs> that's like doof, doof, doof. <laughs> Oh, that was fast. That was fast. Spotted T, how are you doing? Never saw someone get banned by Chicho. This is history. <laughs> not that fast anyway. I think I've banned before, but not that quick. I'm like, oh man, no tolerant. <laughs> right. It is what it is. Didn't even see the messages. Ah, oh, he was being silly. He was being silly. Uh, I'm having a few drinks tonight, Chicho. It's Friday. Haha, <laughs> nice. I'm drinking Crown Royal. Oh my God, Crown Royal! I've had many, 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 too many Crown Royals. <laughs> We're Canadian, me and you. We know what whiskey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For me, I'm, I'm. Uh, you must be much younger. For me, I'm a little older now. Crown Royal, I'll enjoy a little bit. Uh, on the rocks, actually. Uh, sometimes neat is very nice as well with a cigar or something right uh, but crown royal we've had many crown royal nights right now i'm being chill i'm drinking some this is actually herbal tea okay uh, it's some nice herbal tea uh, some blend someone brought us arrovidia or something like this and i got myself for snacks ah watermelon season starting watermelon right good watermelon nice watermelon i cut them up little so i could pop them and from our csa got some turnips these are really good like these are big we have one that was huge right so from the csa we're starting to get turnips coming in so these are fantastic all right they're refreshing they're watery organic grown locally you can't beat it right. scotch whiskey uk finest nice jameson's 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 is my to go to uh, in terms of uh, brandy i like hennessy uh, corvassier i like because of the sharpness Remy is my third choice, uh, but Hennessy is usually my first choice. The 
stuff on Assange. The stuff on Assange. This is, by the way, just so it's clear. Okay, I know a lot of people are into the news, or they might be into the news. It's just sound like, as far as someone who's been keeping track of news for since high school days, really. And I'll tell you a story why it was the case. Not right now. I'm gonna plan on making a video, sort of an introduction to Bobby Sands' poem that I read. Um, but for someone who's been keeping track of news and information coming in for off and on, mainly, mainly on for the last like three decades, three and a half decades, a lot of things go, going on right now. This period is just as large as the period in 1999, 2000, 2001, and the build up to the Iraq war there's a lot of things going on and it makes that seem a little tame okay the propaganda value of it right and on every front that was very directional this right now what's going on is global right and not just conventional military we're talking technology we're talking economics we're talking trade we're talking rights on every front it's huge I like scotch that tastes smoky as an ashtray <laughs> makes you wince <laughs> the smell. <laughs> also, I recently been buying some uh, Bansis cigars. I don't know them. Have you ever uh, tried them, Chicho? They're like $7. No, I've never tried them. Where are they from? Are they Hon Honduran? That sounds Honduran. I don't know if it would be Dominican. It could be Mexican too. Bansis. Corona Deluxe. I like Corona Deluxe. is thicker. It's good. I like the size. Corona you know, refers to the gauge. The gauge and the length of the cigar. So there's two ways you can measure a cigar. Uh, two, two measure, three measurements if you're going by taste. But in terms of size, there's two things you measure. The length and the gauge is the thickness of the cigars, right? So like a Corona is like a medium size or, a, you know, medium, lower medium. You can go double Corona, which is like, you know, larger it's like 54 gauge and stuff what's your opinion on uh, mike gravel mike gravel um if the, if the name is let me put out the face because uh i'm bad with name but i like mike gravel if we're th thinking about the same person he, he's the one that's running for the yeah i like him he's good yeah 100 percent. he's 100 percent legit right uh i like mike gravel uh straight up uh I've known him before, uh, but I mainly heard about his opinion during the Friday live stream sessions that are being done for Julian Assange. And he was on, I think, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And he was on like two or three times, I think. And I've seen him speak. Brilliant. Fantastic. I like him. Too bad he's in the Democratic Party. Uh, he should have an independent party going. Maybe we should get together with Tulsi Gabbard and start a whole new third party what happened in the uk is required in canada and the united states with third parties just starting out and saying what it is that they stand for and getting traction now i don't care if it's right left center whatever it is i just want more choices okay today i decided i should start reading something out of my comfort zone and chose to pick a chomsky book i guess this stream is the perfect opportunity to do you guys have any recommendations you want to start reading chomsky or you pick one something out uh and chose to pick a chomsky book so is there a chomsky book that you really want to read um i'm familiar with chomsky's essays more than anything and his perspective on things because i've i've you know i've watched them i've I've watched lots of lectures online. I've gone and seen him in person. Um, I even have a book signed by him. I don't think it's this one. Uh, it's not this one. I have a book signed by him, but this is a Chomsky reader. I don't know how it ranks relative to his other books, but almost anything on, from Chomsky that you pick up, uh, even on the realm of uh, linguistics, right? It's supposed to be brilliant linguistic stuff. Um, I would definitely look into stuff uh, regarding Americas. Uh, I 
think he's written some stuff regarding that. Uh, Middle East, anything that he's written there, he's he's global. Um, he knows more about the Middle East, the Americas, and Europe than about Asia. Okay, he knows a fair bit about Africa. So he's not, uh, from what I've read anyway, he's not as well versed on Asia. So if you're looking for Europe, Africa, South America, Latin America, North Canada, United States, uh, and the Middle East. Uh, I think almost anything. What's up, Chicho? Jingle bells. How are you doing? What's up, Chicho? From Boston, Massachusetts. Hope all is well. Always nice to chill here and enjoy the ride. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I miss Bill Hicks, man. Hello, Chad, as well. Thanks for dropping by, Jingle bells. Penetrated. <laughs> what do you think about the German refugee uh, politic? Uh, what part of it? The German refugee thing. Um, that's important to ask uh, because it like which part of it uh, Pentran, Pentrati uh, why are the smoke shops where you get tobacco in the superstore they are in the smoke shops where you get tobacco in the superstores I get my tobacco from Rez haha <laughs> it's cheaper hey Chicho how's it going Brown how are you doing doing well man doing well Thank you for dropping by. Uh, I listened to Chomsky before. Didn't he sell out to the Clintons? No, no. He's uh, he's one of the people that's been pretty consistent. But one of the things Chomsky did was he recognized a certain face of what was coming, and his warning. And I don't agree with Chomsky on every level, uh, Sus. Uh, really, I don't agree with Chomsky on every level. But I agree with him on certain levels. I disagree with him on this level that I'm about to tell you what his perspective was. He considered uh, the Clintons, the Obamas, uh, the Democrats to be horrendous war criminals. He's called them out as war criminals multiple times, that they should be tried for prosecution and all this jazz, right? But when he saw what was coming with the neocons, with the Bannons and the Boltons and the Trumps and... Um, and all these people right and Trump is not a neocon Trump is a self-centered individual that doesn't give a rat's ass about anyone but himself and his family I'm pretty sure and he'll throw anyone to the to the wolves right so Trump is not in the same category as uh, Bolton and those lunatics right but uh, he's just Trump is just garbage <laughs> right he is what he is right like he doesn't even know who WikiLeaks is. What? Right? That, that should tell you a lot, right? So when he saw the rise of that side coming, he said, listen, if I was going to vote, that's what I'm not saying this, I don't agree with them. He said, if in this election people should be voting the I don't want these war criminals that have already been in power for eight years than this people these people that are coming up and he i remember him saying i would go this is Tr chomsky saying this i disagree with him i wouldn't vote for him either of them i put out a video on this but he basically said i would hold my nose and go vote for these war criminals because he assumed that these lunatics coming in are going to be worse than these war criminals so no he he's not a he's not a seller to clinton's not by a long shot no uh sanders was a sellout to the clintons <laughs> right so bernie sanders was a sellout to the clintons okay he sold out the american people what was right to do for the goodwill of the party which was basically controlled by the clintons so he sold out to the clintons right. liam how are you doing dr p how are you doing greetings blessings Merkel's uh, uh, idea taking everyone in. Uh, oh, I think it's ridiculous. But the refugee crisis, uh, Pentran, uh, Benin, uh, the refugee crisis that's happening in Europe is not because Merkel said, we're going to take everyone in. Okay, that's a small thing. That was a small thing, right? Europe's refugee crisis is occurring 
because European countries, and with the help of Canada and the United States, bombed the living daylights out of African countries and destroyed their infrastructure, right? And the Middle Eastern countries and Asian countries, right? They took out Libya. Gaddafi warned Europe, you take me out, you destroy this country. You're going to open up a floodgate of millions of people coming through Libya into Europe, right? Everybody knew this. Libya was the highest standard of living in Africa. Before that, people were trying to get into Libya, right? Like, just imagine, you destroy the country with the highest standard of living in a continent, in a continent so large that can hold the United States, that can hold China, you can put India, you can put Italy. Like, take a look at the size of Africa. Like, you can literally fit Germany, India, United States, Italy, like multiple countries within Africa. And we took that whole continent and destroyed this most, most prosperous country, most educated country, right? Healthcare, food, education, free, right? We destroyed it. And guess what? That country was on the Mediterranean, and right across it is Europe. Okay, Europe's refugee crisis is not because Merkel said we'll take them all, right? She's she's a globalist. She's she she cares about Merkel and her clan, right? The money people, the bankers, right? The people of Europe should have prevented their countries from destroying other countries, right? This is blowback. This is what happens when you do not allow anyone that you deem to have be sitting on resources that you want to have a home right you cannot destroy countries and not expect refugees to flood into your country especially if you're bordering them right europe's problems are because europe has been bombing the crap out of countless countries and now you're paying the price right so the solution to europe is this in my opinion is you turn around you find out which one of your leaders in the last 20 30 40 50 years has committed war crimes arrest them and prosecute them for war crimes that will at least show the rest of the world that you care that your governments with your tax dollars went and destroyed the homes of tens of millions of people really there's no simpler way of saying it okay that's the first part the second part is this the european leaders to stay afloat in this current economic system have needed a certain type of growth and low wages and they wanted to create a little bit of turmoil so they brought in a, there's a lot going on right qc warrior good evening hurt my foot chicho send me healing vibes <laughs> lots of love brother eat some good food lots of love like dr p i think you missed what we were having watermelon it's watermelon season okay and good good things for food uh, for foot maybe turnips this is fresh turnips from our CSA that we get food from, right? So this we got this today. It's very good. Lots of love, Dr. P. Was about to go to bed, but must stay awake for Chicho Street nicely. I hope you don't have to get up early tomorrow. Anna, how are you doing? what's your take of china banning imports of highly important minerals to the u.s 95 percent of the minerals that are imperative to u.s weaponry come from uh, china the rare earth right so what we are right now uh zeus oh and spacex that creepy stuff yeah constellation of satellites for 5g yeah crazy and everyone loves musk right so now you have to explain to them listen man just because someone speaks a certain truth and they do certain untruths doesn't mean you only keep their truth in mind right 
if they're actively doing what they're uh, what they themselves are saying is a frightening thing that's happening to our world why why support them right that's just the spacex i think it's crazy they didn't ask the rest of humanity if uh you know everything associated with 5g for our globe to be surrounded by, by like it's just crazy it's an open experiment that's being conducted on humanity not only that um they're conquering space right um there should be some kind of um discussion of uh globally uh for the betterment of all of humanity not just certain corporations it's 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 a touchy subject right people are uh, wacko about it um, but the problem with spacex and all this stuff going on is because of a centralization of power if we don't have representation globally it's representation for a ridiculously small fraction uh, percentage of population and that small percentage of global populations and making decisions for everyone right not good regarding the rare earth minerals Robert you need help what do you need help with regarding uh, the rare earth minerals uh, there are rare earths around so what we're going to start seeing is more exploration into rare earth element I think China uh, what's going on with China and the United States right now is they're the two big boys in the game right so it's not about uh, the discussion uh, happening right now it's not about collaboration to there's some big problems in my country um, okay uh, Robert let us know what they are maybe we'll I don't know <laughs> Uh, what's going on right now is uh, it's a global war right there's wars going on proxy wars going on everywhere there's technological warfare going on and trade wars going on right so there isn't a compromise taking place right now uh, coming mainly from the West from the United States right because the United States is seeing numbers growth numbers coming out of China and Asia and they're not slowing down they just keep on going 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 right so they need to put a little throw a little wrench in there right so they need to slow that down now they're gonna to try to slow what's happening in Asia down fast hard stop right they're not gonna to try to slow it down on this because they're slowing down it's basically about differential equation China's growth is slowing down but it still blows away what the growth rate is in the western world and uh, canada united states and europe stuff right so one way around this is there's a trade war going on and it's it's more it's not just about tariffs and all this jazz it's patent wars copyright wars resource wars it's on every front right so what do i think about it they have the right to do this right google came out two weeks ago and said you know how we can't use their uh, patents technology in their products or their apps and stuff like this that's huge that's huge right uh, so we're gonna see a lot of this going on and in my opinion we're seeing basically an iron curtain come up right where we're gonna have two regions in the globe that are competing producing things and try to sabotage the other people's uh, economies as best as they can while they maintain a growth right and the iron curtain now is going to be definitely human traffic as well as certain technology and, and products and stuff we'll see how it plays out man like right now at the beginning of the stream where the way i said i've never seen anything like this you know i'm half a century 35 years following the stuff right uh it's pretty unprecedented unprecedented what's going on as far as i can tell chomsky might say otherwise i don't know if chomsky's ever lived through something like this um i don't know of it uh, sounds like military stuff for global defense systems hacking etc the rare earth stuff it, it goes into a lot of things it goes into technology basically right so you might see prices coming up in the west for tech stuff friendly pigeon how are you doing 
Praise be. <laughs> nice. Lots of love for you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Lots of love right back. Uh, what's your opinion on the guy who says, get in the truck, let's go. Get in the truck. Your mama and her. She's in the hospital. Let's go. Sorry, hospital. Da, 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 da. Interesting to hear inside. I don't know. <laughs> thanks for, thanks for your time, Richard. <laughs> There's some big problems. Same to many foreign invaders. Da, da, da. You've come to the right place to talk about them. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is accurate or not, but apparently gold is going, uh, going to overthrow the dollar soon. As a trade, no, it won't. Uh, gold is an asset. Uh, it's, it's a hedge for inflation it might pop to uh, over ten thousand dollars right but right now a lot of centralized banks let me read your uh said governments are buying gold to have gold based back currency right when will this happen do you think i don't know uh when do you think the economy over here will collapse and people will be thrown into barbaric times i don't think we're going to see that i don't think we're going to see that i think we're going to see huge turmoil the queen and her army took my land <laughs> robert 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 uh robert first of all uh, you're playing you're being fun you're uh, robert if you want if you want us to mention that like what you said put it in a better way we can talk about it right uh as far as the gold goes, uh, Sus, uh, I don't think we're going to get to a gold, ba gold based currency. Uh, one reason is uh, it's not viable. It can't be rolled out that fast. If it's going to roll out, it'll roll out in like 30 years. The second reason is, is because uh, it'll destroy the planet because the value of gold will go so high in regards to fiat that they'll do to for gold what they're doing in alberta for the tar sands right which is basically um what do you call it just scraping the earth mines everywhere just to get a f f just a little bit of gold right so we'll make it economically viable in terms of fiat currencies to mine gold everywhere and there's gold everywhere it's just not viable to mine it right so what level are we going to go to with that china uh, china's ideology politics and applications of power is frightening i agree healing elements i wouldn't want to be living in china no 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 i feel sad that the trade war tends to be the main focus and not what's going on for the people in china which seems terrible to me uh, a healing element I agree with you the social engineering and all this stuff is a dictatorship really it's basically a one huge corporation right and there's no way you know Western companies can compete with one huge corporation as large as China okay uh, so on that front yes on the social engineering yes on the inability to access information yes totally frightening i agree with you but what's happening in china china is doing it to their own people right that's chinese internal business you could what you just said regarding china you could say regarding the west because the west is implementing a little bit of that inside internally right some countries way worse than others uk is pretty serious right they got facial recognition software everywhere preventing people from walking hiding their faces and stuff right so uk is pretty bad as well certain countries less so but in the western countries the problem with that is what they've been doing to the peoples of other countries right china hasn't had its tentacles in war destruction the amount of destruction that's been handed out in the last at least at least four decades right three minimum three decades three let's say three decades since the first gulf war right china doesn't even come close to what western governments have done right so which one is more frightening uh, it's more frightening if you're living in that country if you're living in china i'd rather be in canada uh, if you're the uh, 
if you get the attention of the Western powers and if they want something from you, it's probably more or you have resources and you have China looking at you and US and the Western powers looking at you. Which one is more frightening to you? I would say the Western powers is more frightening. We know what they've done to numerous countries in the last few decades uh, when they want their resources. China has been doing trade deals with those countries. So it really depends on your perspective, uh, which country, which nations you consider to be frightening. It really, really, that's really important to keep in mind. I feel like we are, as a collective, took a wrong turn somewhere. I know we have these capabilities as such, yet we choose to continue. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thanks for the last, Richard. I have a serious question now. Friendly Pigeon. What do you got, Friendly Pigeon? The wrong turn in America's pessimism. A lot of citizens are very uh, disrespectful and unappreciative of what they have. Yeah, I agree with you there. They're very privileged. Western Western people anyway, very privileged. I've talked to people from uh, the other coast and they said the same exact thing. I thought it was just me. China has no choice, but they play the game that has been prepared for them, I guess. Yeah, they're playing it exactly the way it's been prepared uh, John Nova Rip John Nova Rip Genova Rip Genova hey Chicho I had a shoulder injury this morning ouch uh, what are some uh, more natural pain relievers I'm not a fan of the side effects of the pills they give uh, cannabis for sure um, it all depends if you're in a country that's it's legal or not right uh, if you had a so shoulder injury you have inflammation and turmeric is good to reduce inflammation so inflammation is good uh, inflammation is good turmeric is good right heat is good if you just had the injury sprained it or something you want to put ice on it to reduce the inflammation and then once things settle down a little bit a few hours or maybe an hour i'm not 100 percent sure on this i've done this before but i can't remember time frame is to put heat on it because once you put heat on it you get blood flow so you want blood flow going through it but you don't want to be moving the shoulder too much ever been to china no so i live in ireland so it's more of a uh, democracy, democracy republic, in terms of um, autopsy. Anyway, <laughs> so the, that affects the overall population by limiting the value of our currency, uh, currency, which is the Irish euro. And I have noticed since the implementation of uh, breakfast, our stock stocks have slowly risen. <laughs> <laughs> drop <laughs> drop since then would you recommend i invest me in the american dollar since the correlation between the currencies of china and germany uh, i think american dollar is going to get uh, it's going to increase in value um, just because there's so much chaos going around the world and uh, uh america united states will be a safe haven herbs dr p says for pain yeah which herbs dr p turmeric i know is good for inflammation the cannabis is good for inflammation and pain relief and blood flow because then it opens up the arteries and stuff so i don't know what what else um, i probably do if i ask around i have friends and stuff that know this if you don't understand i can rephrase um what did you say no i would say uh i think i understood it uh, friendly pigeon yeah i think the American dollar is gonna is a safe haven. I think it will increase in value. It might not, but it, my opinion is that it will, relative to other currencies. You would be such a good guest on the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Uh, Joe Rogan podcast. Maybe, maybe. I'd be fun. I'd definitely inhale if you pass me a blunt. <laughs> Either way, sooner or later, it will not uh, no longer be necessary 
uh, to forecast the future because time will disappear and everything will happen at once possible ice 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 too initially but later on heat uh, liquid nitrogen <laughs> maybe <laughs> with the gas things that what they have oops uh, I believe that the uh, silence about what China is doing is uh, damaging to our own Western societies one of the reasons there's so much silence to a certain degree of what China is doing is because Western societies Western countries powers also want to implement that what China is implementing okay as people can't even see the patterns they are being put into when voting for a person X or Y to me the most frightening uh, possible perspective is the one where whatever your country is doing you can't even have a voice against it agreed that's true despair and should probably be fought I might be naive enough to think that if people knew what's going on in these countries they would be more careful about it um, are people for example in the United States healing element in Canada in the UK are people aware of what's being implemented are people aware of what the implications are with the persecution of Julian Assange right Wilhelm Reich wrote a book about this the murder of Christ right Robert Anton Wilson oops Robert Anton Wilson where is it Robert Anton Wilson Robert. oh that's not it <laughs> Robert Anton Wilson wrote a book about this here Wilhelm Reich in hell Robert Anton Wilson wrote a book about this which is basically the states will uh, to try to to try to get their uh, silence people to try to make sure they don't lose power they will basically crucify people and that is exactly what they are doing to Julian Assange so how many people in the Western world are aware of the implications of what happened to Julian Assange and what really is happening to Julian Assange inflammation it was a superior uh, superior lateral tear Ooh, it was a tear <sighs> cannabis comf comfrey comfrey turmeric cool dandelions pissy beds I don't know what those ones are but I know what dandelions are dandelions for sure dandelions are they make good tea I've never had oh, or maybe I have maybe I've had pain best way to deal is instead of fighting it breathe into it and accept it yeah meditation is amazing for pain is amazing for pain and accepting it as dr p says just accept that state uh, of what it is focus in the area and really feel the boundary the th throbbing and trying to try to work with the boundary of the pain right you can go in center as well try to focus in on it but usually the pain that you're feeling is not where it's the most painful it's usually a secondary cause right I know that avocado has a good anti-inflammatory action does it okay cool lasagna awesome thanks for that would you suggest an indica or a sativa I'm currently trying to convince my parents to let me use some THC oil instead of the narcotics and muscle relaxers the dog purchase it really depends how old you are uh, brother or sister talk to your parents provide them the information um, and you you don't have to use anything which with THC in it uh, uh, there's CBD uh, that you can get so it's non psychoactive and stuff like this and uh, so do research but do research with your parents your parents want the best for you okay so hopefully they want the best for you I mean, I've, I've met some people where their parents are pretty brutal but uh, hopefully they want the best for you and if you guys sit down together and do some research together and really try to figure out what's going on uh, that would that would be my suggestion I fear we're being uh, pro profile right now oh for sure I can honestly tell you I know I've been profiled I know I've had eyes on me Chicho I need help do you know any natural remedies aid in the removal of a I don't know what that is 
I have no idea what that is. I would have to look that up. Man. Let me look that up. Is that a scary thing or, <laughs> or <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a wart. A planter wart is a wart occurring on the bottom of. Oh, okay, those things. You need uh, liquid nitrogen. I think someone mentioned this. Uh, Varuka. Uh, it's at the bottom of the foot, and what you need to do, it's it's virtually i think it's almost impossible to get rid of until you go see a dermatologist and they have i think it's liquid nitrogen they have to burn it off they pour uh, I, I don't know if it's liquid nitrogen whatever it is they burn it but they burn it with cold so, so they pour it on and you have to go see them a few times and the planter vort is contagious right so if you go into a swimming pool if you're walking around barefoot in a home where there's other people there put socks on or wear sandals because um, I don't know what the period is that stays on the surface but you might pass it on to someone else so it's easily gotten rid of I, you know it's been around many people get them uh, do you take part in any martial arts I find uh, jiu-jitsu to be very meditative and cleansing for the mind and body I've done Liam I've done uh, jiu-jitsu at university I did a little bit I did uh, what do you call it uh, I mentioned this before I did wrestling and stuff like this and I did a little bit of Tai Chi just I didn't learn the 24 move I learned half of it like the 12 move of it and stuff like this I've done the meditation stand martial arts Tai Chi uh, I haven't done too much but a friend of mine was just here visiting us and he's a uh, he's been doing it for decades and he's an instructor and uh, he, he swears by it and I, I, I've seen him with the results uh, and I swear by whatever I've done as well. Highly recommend. Jiu-Jitsu is amazing. Long, deep breathing with the focus and intent of healing. With the focus and intent of healing. Agreed. Healing elements. Well, I should go back to work. Okay, thank you for dropping by. Uh, that was nice stopping by and chatting a bit. Hope you people keep having a great time and interesting exchanges. Don't forget to drink water and take care of your teeth much love everyone see you <laughs> nice thank you for the advice uh friendly pigeon okay i shall consider your recommendations i see no uh continuity between the logistical contingencies of the fortune 500 firms that i should uh, that i should i have done an, an analysis of the bar chart for the cubic <laughs> zirconia <laughs> meeting the powers that be and they overall determine the perception of stocks when in reality it is just a pigment of our thoughts that has been integrated through external beings do you do you eat vegetables i eat vegetables i eat vegetables here's a turnip that's turnip and watermelon is a fruit eat your vegetables and fruits love your writing friendly friendly pigeon i'm 17 used to regular smoke for anxiety but then i found meditation that helped a lot more for sure it's not a cheat to a certain degree right onion garlic onion garlic good liquid nitrogen works fantastically used to get them a lot when i was a kid, child yeah but make sure you get someone a professional to use it don't go I don't know if you can even buy liquid nitrogen. Oh, message held for Matthew. This is a poor person hack. But duct tape. Oh, duct tape. Oh, I'm going to let that. Doop. Matthew, thank you for that. Uh, this is a poor person hack. But put duct tape over it overnight and the morning after, take it off. I have no idea why not within a day or so. No, it's great. Um, I think it's a folklore matthew okay it might work i had to allow it i don't know why automat grabbed your comment by the way maybe they think duct tape is related to other things right if i remember correctly i wear an apron so the wool uh don't spread okay cool i got one of those when i was a little if I remember correctly, I have to apply some type of acid. Is it acid or liquid nitrogen? I can't remember. Acid on it for a week or so. 
uh, in reality we all we are all merely uh, goes on the footprint on twitch streams <laughs> yeah i really uh, really should get into tai chi yeah i think you will appreciate uh, dr p chicho have you ever uh, suffered from uh, depression i've been sad i've been extremely depressed um, i don't know if i've had clinical depression i don't think so maybe uh, i have unfortunately uh, had to uh, uh, I had to deal with traumatic events in the family like uh, parting of ways and death and stuff like this and you know when you're young you, you don't know how to handle things you go off the deep end a little bit uh, so I don't know we are a collective feelings are shared how's the weather out in BC fantastic summer full-on um, it's beautiful here in Ontario haven't visited BC since 99 but I miss it dearly yeah I haven't been to Ontario since uh, probably around that period late 90s uh, when I was doing geophysics I lived in Ontario for a while hey there friends hope you're all good green tech how are you doing King Canada by the way how are you doing Ontario that is a poor person hack but oh I, I approve that I personally heard marijuana was bad for anxiety uh, could cause more panic attacks etc so I stopped doing that when I was diagnosed with anxiety um, possibly I mean it's uh, in my case it was acid but liquid nitrogen is the best way to go is it lasagna okay thanks lasagna uh, that was regarding the something word I forget what it's called uh, regarding anxiety and cannabis um, for sure I know people who say they get really anxious and stuff like this sometimes I joke around with them I say oh maybe you should feeling <laughs> maybe you should be feeling anxious right so cannabis is bringing out to the forefront right some things you have to deal with and some people are legit it makes them anxious so it's not good for them so it's across the board when it comes to food and nature in general there's nothing that I know of that is good for everyone other than air oxygen and water and it depends what type of air you're breathing in and what type of oxygen some people with asthma can't live in certain countries right so chicho can you adopt me <laughs> no i don't want the responsibility man thank you for thinking that i would uh make a good uh good person to guide you too much responsibility I took endimethotryptamine to treat my depression now I can't leave my bed <laughs> what, what what use your recommendations yo <laughs> yeah methyltryptamine yo sleepy waves yo how are you doing is that DMT yeah I don't know what the N is dimethyltryptamine DMT but uh, what's the N doing well thanks King Canada says King Canada gaming have you ever done uh, the Armenian marsh in Ottawa to commemorate the genocide no I drove uh, my uncle last year there Mijian's oh I know that I have friends that are there Mijian last name I wonder if you guys are connected and as a uh, or your friend and as a white Canadian it really opened my eyes yeah there's people that do it in uh, it's April 24th um, uh, I didn't realize they have one in Ottawa they have one in LA for sure uh, I'm guessing they probably will have one in Washington DC but I didn't know they had one in Ottawa uh, I don't think that was happening when I was in Ontario um, I hooked up with the Armenian community in Toronto and Montreal a lot youth fat parties dances eating great eating fantastic eating really good eating <laughs> there's one festival they had in uh, I forget which town it is south of Toronto where every year 
uh, they make something called halim. It's like Armenians make it and um, and Middle Eastern people make it. They take wheat and they cook it overnight. So this party goes on all night. They have big pots and they're cooking them and it's with chicken. And you cook it so much that the wheat totally breaks down. The chicken totally becomes shreddy and you eat it with cinnamon and sugar and sometimes with salt and cayenne pepper and stuff it's really delicious hey richard this is more of a uh, personal thought this morning i began my day and suddenly thought my tea's gone cold i'm wondering why i got out of bed at all the morning rain clouds up my window and i can't see see at all and when, and even if i could it all be gray but your picture on my wall it reminds me that it's not so bad it's not so bad my tea's gone cold i'm wondering why i got out of bed at all the morning rain clouds up my window and i can't see it all and even if i could it'll it it all be gray that's like a fall uh, fall feeling for me friendly pigeon uh, lamajun is my favorite food lamajun lamajun <laughs> lamajun i believe the n comes from uh, nitrogen in the composition it comes before the rest of the word because of uh, chemistry rules ah oh, that's why okay thanks lasagna that's regarding dmt m and m is that m and m nice is that from m and m no what uh what do you call it friendly pigeon wrote maybe m and m used to have some amazing lyrics sadly i actually don't know any armenian food reminds me that that there is a wealth of foods and other culture things out there unexplored by many of us that we are missing out on yeah I feel that way too sometimes but I, I'm lucky in the west coast of Canada we're we got exposed we got so many different eth ethnicities here and a lot of different restaurants so it's fantastic really it's really good or did he steal that from another song anyway maybe it's nice we'll read it why not hi cutie hi <laughs> how you doing Zoot? <laughs> Who do you trust told the truth the fake blonde with the big breast or the stormy or stormy daniels <laughs> uh, pamela pamela told the truth let's check it out i gotta do a search for stormy Dalian daniels's face Oh God, Stormy Daniels, yikes! <laughs> Pamela Andles, and and those Ender Anderson, I don't know her last name. She told the truth about Julian Assange. And the other one, who knows? Not a song, just a thought. Nice, I like the thought. That's from Stan, but the chorus is fr uh, from another music. Thank you, thank you by Dio oh dito turn up it's really good it seems like youtube has just as many ads nowadays as cable tv yeah use ad blocks like I have ads on my on YouTube I've enabled monetization on my videos but it's only at the beginning the video is only at the beginning and I don't know if text pops up or not this doesn't really generate anything but it's only ads at the beginning and you can skip them within five seconds right and that's basically to support me a little bit at least hopefully there's growth so I can do this full time. That's the reason I've enabled ads. However, if you don't like ads, if you find that intrusive, if you can handle them, 
to support my work let the ads run fantastic i appreciate it but not necessary if you don't like those ads load on ad blocks and run ad blocks when i watch videos i don't see ads okay so not just on my videos i don't see ads on anything on youtube right so um run ad blocks uh yeah for me uh there are creators that don't run ads uh there are creators that run ads at the beginning at the end in the middle and all this jazz all right for people who don't run ads, they say okay support me as much as you can i know there are people there who can't support me financially and the way support would be to let the ads run right so i'm leaving it up to people i'm not making the decision for them to a certain degree i think it seems like youtube is just as many up chicho how does your daily routine usually go um, i wake up in the mornings usually oh, let me pop this for me in the mornings i wake up early ridiculously early uh, I, don't know, I can't even tell you you go crazy if i'm telling you it's like four or five latest by six i'm up and first thing i do i check check my news fees uh, messages messages comments news feeds and that lasts anywhere from two to four to five hours yeah two let's say two to four hours and usually longer like today i've been checking news all day right there's a lot and for the last few weeks for a few months i've been checking the news of fair pet and then i do things sometimes i run video in the background and i'm doing other work right so i, I can multitask right i i let things run if i'm watching a video or i have text being read to me and i'm doing something on the side either back end work for what we're doing here so um uh, it, it's not a uh, i don't have a nine to five day job i do whatever i can when i can thanks for your time richard i'm going to bed <laughs> i'm working in the morning god bless god bless you friendly pigeon thank you for dropping by and putting a smile on our faces right uh, fun reads they have been running a deficit for years if only makes sense that they'd start to go uh, rampant with ads. I don't think YouTube has been running a deficit for years. Use uBlock Origin and no script, then support your favorite creators through Patreon. King Canada Gaming, 100%. I run no script. I run uBlock or is it ad? I run AdBlock Plus. I think I have uBlock. I just have a few different things. I have Ghosterly running. I have. Um, badger running i have a few different things running so i don't get any ads and what i do i support different creators and stuff like this when i have the funds to do it right streaming daniel's never called drum big <laughs> hello great channel thank you what is your top 10 books my top 10 books wow that's some serious question uh, Wesley snipe uh, Wesley snipes general Smedley Butler's uh, war is a racket is definitely one of my favorite books uh, I have some of my favorite books here do I have some of my favorite books here oh elegant universe I would say is one of my favorite books I really like this uh, elegant universe by Brian Green okay I read this a while ago. Thank you very much for the cheers. Who was that? Doop, doop. Zoot. Ah, thank you very much for the cheers, uh, Zoot. <laughs> You're really cute. You will wait for me to get over my only dating bad boy. <laughs> so, uh, Brian Green's Elegant Universe. Okay. Um, um, this one I'm reading right now is is becoming one of my favorite books wilhelm reich's mass psychology of fascism i'm only into here right but i'm taking notes like mad really i'm taking notes like mad right fantastic fantastic 
Really good, really good, really good. Highly recommend, highly recommend, highly intense. Wilhelm Reich, Mass Psychology of Fascism. Right. Um, in, in terms of politics, I'm basically touching politics, I think, or I did science as well. Days of destruction, days of revolt, politics. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Chris Hedges, Joe Sacco. Chris Hedges, Joe Sacco, days of destruction, days of revolt. Took a lot of notes, took a lot of notes, took a lot of notes, took a lot of notes. Well, took a lot of notes, took a lot of notes, took a lot of notes. One day I'll read this from cover to cover. I've only read about 105 pages. Guru Lesher Bach. Right? I've only read about 105. I need to, one day I'll take a sabbatical in the summer and just go through this and blog about it. Politics. Gore Vidal, Perpetual War for Perpetual Peace. Great book, great book. Short book, quick book, great book. I've read a lot of C.S. Lewis. I have fantasy book Dune. Dune is amazing. The Death Gate Cycle, seven books, amazing. Right. I'm just gonna catch up with chat. Book conversation takes me on a tangent, right? How do you Canadians end up with a uh, puggy, puggy, but cute president? <laughs> it's funny yo what up teacher what up dante how you doing how's life Zoot. resentment of the conservative pm and his attachment to the church of mega prisons not to mention legalization of cannabis that pretty much sums it up king canada you're right on the ball right legalization of cannabis or the end of prohibition it should have been but it wasn't it was a legalization of cannabis but still a step forward right and Harper government was destructive to Canada. Horrendous, 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 right? And what it is is liberals and the conservatives in Canada sort of tag team each other, right? Have you always been this productive or do you adapt yourself? I adapt, I adapt. I go through, uh, through periods. For example, productivity is not just about putting things out, reading a lot, sharing a lot of stuff. Productivity is also productivity in terms of a mental state of, uh, and the mental state you're in right so sometimes i really have to force myself to relax to meditate to chill not to do anything so sometimes i take a bill hicks break right i step away from things for a few days a few weeks sometimes a few months just to ground and sort things out and breathe and think right and then i come back more powerful right so for me it's not about always creating producing for me it's about being in the right state of mind both you know right state both mentally physically spiritually to be able to live my life to the best of my abilities that's my ultimate purpose right i don't think you need multiple ad blocks that slows uh, down your browser possibly but i'm running multiples <laughs> dante <laughs> i'm running multiples sometimes i turn some of them off sometimes i keep it all going uh, Albert Kumas, The Stranger, is still my favorite book for sure. I don't know that one. Skywalker, Albert Camus, The Stranger. Cool. Lasagna uh, says YouTube hasn't really profited for uh, most years. That's why they tried so hard to be advertiser friendly last year, hence the apocalypse for creators. Yeah, what they did was basically uh, YouTube's chasing the the monopolized money right i think they did a, they made a mistake they have a, they had a platform that had multiple different so much on it right all they had to do was market people go after people that didn't realize that advertising would help them right so they started banning you know taking videos off their platform that were getting huge views right huge views they're going viral organically viral and stuff like this and instead of saying okay people are interested in certain type of content let's walk away from walt disney 
<clears throat> okay, which is one source of income, and or AT&T, which is one source of income, and go hit up this industry, which is the money's not coming, revenue is not coming from one source or just a handful of sources, it's coming from millions of people, tens of hundreds of millions of people that are interested in these types of products, and all they have to do was lower their ad advertising fees, right? Tell people, hey, you can advertise for free for a month to see what would happen, you know, if you're interested in it, does it give you whatever? And they could have gone after that, they didn't. One of the reasons they didn't, I don't think it's all just about money, it's about control, right? So they're harvesting the data. So maybe they're not making as much money in the ad revenue, but they acquiring a lot of data and their social engineering society. So they're getting money in different ways as well. Okay, looks all great books. What is your uh, your uh, what is your formation? You look like a university professor. I'm not a university professor. Um, I'm a I'm a guy with a big <laughs> long goatee <laughs> that that I'm just interested in life and our society and technology and spirituality and entheogens and stuff. I just have multiple hobbies and likes, so I try to. Enjoy them as best as possible. What the fuck is this guy? Why he popping up in my subscription? He must have subscribed to me. You some kind of villain? I could be. <laughs> I'm all that. Just, I can't do it right now. I'm such that I don't want to knock anything out. But gaming, out of gaming. I live in Las Vegas, where it's uh, legal to smoke. Never liked it myself. Cool, Las Vegas. I haven't gone to the United States for 19 years. There's only one place that I miss in Vegas, and, uh, in the United States, and that is Vegas. I, I've been to a fair bit of the United States. I've been to many places which are awesome, which I would like to go again and stuff like this. But, you know, it's crossing the border is just too much. And I don't really miss them because I have to cross that border. But the one place that I really miss that the vibe I've never been able to get anywhere else is Vegas and not the Vegas of Disneyland that it is now the family styles and stuff like this right family destination is the Vegas of the 80s and 90s right Vegas of the no family no kids running around it's an adult playground that's what I miss so I guess it's nostalgia because I don't think that exists in Vegas anymore from what my friends tell me Chicho maybe you would be interested on knowing what happened and what's happening in Brazil the way things went with the elections and Bolsonaro and his way of seeing things is really close to fascism Eduardo I agree with you it is it's not close to fascism it is fascism right but I heard Eduardo I heard Bolsonaro is in trouble now there's serious demonstrations in Brazil going on right now with the students uh, participating with the teachers participating uh, they're cutting funding and the nurses participating from what I understand I'm following it a little bit right uh, it's in my radar I know I know what boss Bolsonaro represents and I know that Brazil needs to get rid of Bolsonaro uh, democratically non-violent you can't go violent this two hours past my bedtime Dante go to sleep sun is uh, uh, going up monkas monkas two hours past your bedtime sun is coming up early sun is here up here at 4 a.m no, not four the birds start chirping at 4 a.m and the sun is up by like five or dawn is coming by five don't even get me started great lasagna regarding brazil yeah what do you uh what do you do regarding geophysics in ontario was it using statistics to determine the probability of natural resources catches in Ontario? Never heard of that field before. No, I did uh, uh, data analysis for resources for uh, the Kimberlite pipes in Northwest Territories. One that was processed one of the first data. But in Ontario, we did a little bit of geo and uh, geoengineering, basically construction, mining. Uh, infrastructure right but the main work that i did like 80 percent 
was environmental and there's a lot of environmental geophysics works that needs to be done uh, globally really around brine pits or finding tanks uh, landfill water contamination contaminating wells of farmers uh, leaks uh, through like there's so much really so much Zoo. I quit last year because I was uh, giving me crazy anxiety but I still support it cool take care Chicho take care Star uh, Starsky say hi to Hutch okay and thank you for dropping by and I hope you have, I hope you have sweet dreams uh, I need my sleep he says what do you mean great lasagna that bug uh, was in a very uh, gaming Canada so Zoot was in a very bad car accident my doctor suggested I do CBD oil for pain management I have a strong aversion to pills yeah I don't like pills either I'm with you Zoot. Uh, not only help with the pain but improve my temperament I vape 500 milligrams no flavor when I feel anxiety setting up cool it must have helped your appetite too Zoot. no a little bit I could spend hours taking uh, talking non-stop about the awful situation Brazil is now yeah and I believe that applies for most Brazilians too I believe so uh, yeah man, things are crazy here it's 4 a.m. at the UK my bedtime is long gone yeah did you have work or school tomorrow Eduardo yeah Chicho he's desperate nothing he and his shitty ministers proposes get approved and we already have had two major manifestations against the, the cuts in education awesome awesome that's perfect cutting education is the most insane thing it makes your uh, motive so obvious you just need a stupid populace to control easily yeah basically right and not adding in, introducing uh, improvements to the education right like they cut but you can't just cut you gotta if you don't think it's working then propose something else and bring funding in from this side and try to build that up do a test run to make sure it's it's working and then you can start diverting some of the funds from this to over here if it's working right i love the protests going on in brazil but the unfortunate truth is that those at the top aren't really affected by it and don't seem to care at all well great lasagna what's going to happen if uh, the protests continue and all of a sudden there's a general strike and the whole country shuts down right what are they going to do general strike is one of the most powerful ways to change the political movement zoo good for you uh, cbd is very uh, different from thc i still take cbd for my ms uh, and uh, it, ms multiple sclerosis and it works very well i wish you the best it's king canada are you talking about uh, ms multiple sclerosis and by the way we have lula uh, on prison without any concrete evidence yeah lula should be released it was a coup what happened in brazil was a coup 100 percent coup the main goal of leaders like uh, bolsonaro is to do everything they uh, can to uh, appeal to their main support base because they know they're the ones that will do uh, the most to keep them in office yeah yeah and and bolsonaro's main support base main funding uh, is from outside of brazil it's outside forces that want him in power to do the things that he's doing right it's saturday got the weekend off nice nice ah that's right tomorrow saturday and the people organizing manifestations to support Bolsonaro's decisions that's a joke come on unbelievable yeah unbelievable that's a fucking joke lasagna sorry for the word can have uh can have all all the chicho time i want nice <laughs> that's good awesome brother the fascist manifestation brazil ever had yeah the fascistest manifestation brazil ever had yeah because it's blatant fascism like straight out i am a fascist right that's what he's saying right no need to be sorry brother this word is the 
perfect one in the situation yes i am i was diagnosed two years ago cbd really helped when i get a flare-up of symptoms for the record i am 33 traditional medicines did nothing except uh except make me feel numb okay king canada um first of all i'm sorry uh i hope uh well okay let me let me say this i'm gonna i'm gonna pause reading things for a bit okay king canada i've i've had a friend that has had ms okay i'm not in touch with her anymore okay i saw her in late stages okay so i hope progression like i hope it's dead stop right it doesn't go further really uh, and i'm gonna how long have you been king canada how long have you been uh following my work i'm just gonna bring something up uh search for something uh and i'll check the chat as i'm searching about a year okay uh do you did you know that i had something regarding ms on my site i'm just going to check chat again fogo the chao is a brazilian steakhouse here in las vegas they only bring in and hire restaurant staff from brazil you should hear the horror stories they tell yeah i bet i bet i want to bring something up for you uh, here we go okay i found it it's on my previous blog uh, uh king canada okay let me open up the links hopefully they're not dead i've been meaning to re-upload these to my most recent site okay and basically what this is let me give you a little intro for it okay i had a friend uh, and i put this out let me see when i put this out I put this out in 2008 okay and i had a friend like i said in late uh late phase ms and i met her because she was dating a friend of mine um and they were boyfriend girlfriend and during the early stages of me meeting her uh, she told me what happened to her uh in a mall because she was she was wheelchair bound she was in a mall and she was outside smoking cannabis to ease her uh, ease her pain and whatnot right and a security guard came to her and freaked out on her this is back in 2008 so it was cannabis wasn't legal and stuff like this so freaked out on her and stuff like this and she told me this and i was pissed really i got very very angry right so at the time i had the blog going and at that time when i had the blog going i was getting a lot of views way more views on my blog than i am now right on my website on my youtube channel more views on my youtube channel uh now than before because i have way more subscribers back then like on youtube i have like 30,000 29,000 or 28,000 subscribers right now back then i probably had like 2,000 right but i was doing a lot of political posts right uh because i wrote about politics and economics and i predicted not predicted that the 2008 well yeah i said the collapse was coming there was a serious serious downturn in the stock market and this stuff was going to happen so some people were following me and when that stuff started occurring i started getting a lot of views right and uh, i told her what she wanted to do when she told me this happened and she was crying and she was upset and i was pissed right uh and was this the beginning stages this i can't remember the timing of it right uh, I, 
I still interacted we still interacted for a few years after that right um, but basically you know I asked her what do you want to do right how do you want to react to this so she said oh I'm gonna call the mall and this and this but cannabis was illegal there was medical cannabis available but it was because private properties was a little iffy right so I said listen um, how do you want to share what's going on she goes I don't know I have a diary and stuff like this I said listen how about if we dedicate if you want people to know what you're going through what you're feeling how about we dedicate a couple of weeks of two to three weeks of what I'm putting on my site to anything that you want to share right so she started putting stuff together from her diary and telling her story okay so here's a and once I set up my own website which is off uh, not on blogspot I will definitely have this up on my own private website again uh, I'm putting this out there for you if you want this on my site right now on blogspot right now you let me know if you think this is important to have up okay and I will take the time This is my intro to what's about to come up, right? So and here is her write up. Okay. And I hope these pages are alive, man. I hope these pages are alive. Unfortunate. Come on, be alive. It's not alive. Let's see. I might be able to find these. I might have these backed up somewhere. Okay. And here's the third page, which is a table of contents for what she wrote. And here's the third one. This is a table of contents for her diary. Okay. Um, from that she kept from 2003 to 2008 okay now it looks like these pages are dead however I might be able to track them down on archive if not I might I think I have these backed up uh, it will take some doing possibly to put these back on again okay but uh, let me see what the date on this was 2008 let's see if we can find okay what is that 2009 2008 if you go here here's the archive okay archive.org if you do a search so if you scroll down to the table of contents uh, on archive.org on here that's a 2008 one I believe or go to the 2008 and this stuff was put out uh, mm -mm, in uh, January for March uh, 29th 2008 so let me see March 28th let's see maybe it's we can find it maybe maybe 
that's not there let's see let's see if they're in April hopefully they were in April I can find them did I put them up not yet let's see what these ones were put out yeah so I should they, they will be the somewhere okay uh, if you want I can look a little bit harder but you can read those two things that I posted and you tell me I'm gonna read some of the yeah gluten is huge I'm just gonna read the CBD I'm just gonna read some more comments lucky then they got out of there the C CBD do anything for depression I don't know what are your opinion on all drug being decriminalized? I agree with it, Liam. I think everything should be. I don't want to agree with prohibition whatsoever. Okay. I believe most governments should hit, uh, head towards this as to eliminate criminal markets and distribute safe, clean dosages to addicts, as well as allowing people to have freedom to live their lives the way they want to do. They want to live their lives. Basically, victimless crimes, if you want to consider it to be a crime, right? and prohibition centralized power should not have the right to tell people how to live their lives as long as they're not hurting anyone else right uh was he a handsome as in the movies top fiver i got to leave great lasagna thanks for staying brother hope you have uh sweet dreams or a great day if you're starting your day thanks for the company everyone have a nice day night chicho and trap you too absolutely dante but uh, several other natural herbs do a better job with depression. Cool. I am RRMS. Cutting gluten, refined carb, carbs uh, has really changed my life. And with CBD, my pain is almost gone. Thank God my mobility is not limited to a wheelchair yet. I'm so sorry about your friend. I appreciate the link. Okay. Awesome, Ken. I heard lots of greens and stuff. Uh, I looked into this a little bit back in the day, right? Have a nice one, lasagna. It really comes down to regulation. If you let people have free reign with all these drugs, the possible consequences could be pretty ugly. Uh, Skywalker, we might have an ugly period, but the only reason we're going to have an ugly period is because we have had prohibition for so long, right? So there's going to be a little bit of re-assimilation of responsibility back into our society right so we have to take responsibility for our own actions if we're expecting big brother centralized power to control our behaviors then that is a dark dark road we're going on right we have to allow people give people the opportunity to live their lives the way they want to live it and to make their own mistakes there's a lot of information that has been lost because of prohibition. That information have to, has to be reincorporated back into society. Okay. Skywar, I completely agree. As soon as governments understand their prohibition don't work and that we must seek an alternative policy. Cool. I caught up with the chat. Crazy. <sighs> heavy topic, man. Heavy topic. Heavy topic. heavy topic let me see if I can find active links okay not that one let me see if I can find active links One of the saddest things that happened that I felt really bad about when uh, I had to change my site because my site got hacked and stuff like this. 
and I went to block spot. Uh, one of the things I felt bad, worse about was losing this information or not having this up again because she put a lot of time into it as, as did I, reviewing things, linking things up. Chicho has been caught touching five times. <laughs> running count, running count. Where is this? Nope. Let's go to November. Maybe we find the link. Who knows? Active. Okay, let's see if this one will be active. Maybe. No, they're not active. Unfortunate. Oh, well. I would be in favor of a of a wall along the Canadian border if it kept the likes of Justin Bieber and Celine Dion from crossing over. That's funny. I can hear you had Celine Dion in Vegas for so long, doing so many shows. I can hear the birds chirping. I think that's my cue to go to bed. I will keep the stream open though. Awesome. Sweet dreams, Liam. Sweet dreams. Going to sleep with birds chirping is actually a great feeling. I talked to my uncle uh, about your liquor channel and he busted out his stash. Nice. Apparently this is an Armenian thing. He he had his own plus his father's stash passed away in 2003. So oh really nice man. Awesome King Canada. That's cool. Yeah, a lot of Armenians uh, I know we do, right? We it's uh, like uh, I don't know why but uh, food is a big thing in the Armenian uh, culture I guess um, just because of family and where we've, we've come from and stuff like this uh, so food and alcohol food and drinking yeah sorry to hear about your uh, IBS and leaky tower or bowels <laughs> yes, I, don't know what, I don't know what the IBS Oh, uh, bowel syndrome, irritable bowel syndrome, right? I don't know who has irritable bowel syndrome. The bowel, some people do. And it's, uh, THC is good for that, right? Chichu, do you have advice on discipline? Um, in what regards? Uh, discipline, uh, I mentioned this before, it's, uh, Eduardo, just we're limited on time man for me uh, we're here for a ride hopefully a fun ride hopefully it's not just straight it'll be ups and downs right and the, the trick is to to enjoy the ride when you're riding high and to be able to pick yourself up when you're pounded down low right uh, that to me is discipline when you can look at life and still say that uh, you enjoy it right to me that keeps me going just waking up saying man let's do right um, for me anger is a motivation uh, I, I for me if I see you know like i don't like cheering for the winners if you want to put it that way i like i like for fighting for the underdog as long as they have uh, as long as it's just to a certain degree as long as you feel like they've been wrong right to me that's motivation right to bring about change in a positive way uh, when I see people like for my students one of my motivations to teach is uh, I see people struggling kids struggling and it's their lives on the line right so that to me is motivation good night to all got lots of work in the morning thanks for your time Chicho not to chat be well say hello to your neighbor and enjoy life King Canada 
fantastic words good night and sweet dreams brother good night and sweet dreams and go hit up some more of that uh, liquor at your at your uncle's <laughs> discipline latent kim suter okay but well yeah it would be dangerous zoot <laughs> latex kim suits are okay but ball gags could be dangerous could be i don't know god seriously <laughs> ball gags could be dangerous okay good to know man good to know i agree got to get those <laughs> free skywalker focus on intrinsic motivation uh dante says figure out what you really want and devise a plan make realistic and measurable goals and do them step by step uh doing them i agree with uh, dante do them step by step it's uh one of the things uh that i've heard is uh if you want to be a writer write if you're putting one word down a day put one word down a day slowly you'll notice that it becomes two and then a sentence and then a paragraph and then a couple of paragraphs and then an essay right so do and that's why i say do it's just just do whatever you need to do just do no matter how much of it you get done you need to, you don't need to get everything done right but i disagree with dante re regarding set uh, re uh, realistic and measurable goals for me shoot to the moon right shoot to the moon right but just make sure you're doing but don't get disappointed if you don't reach the moon right i think it's the disappointment part where people say set realistic goals and measurable goals right shoot for the moon but make sure you do every day right one of the things that gets me doing things is writing things down and eduardo seriously my how to study uh, playlist those videos that i have there that is how i get things done if you want to call it discipline that's my discipline i think about why i'm doing things i put in the time needed to get things done uh, i make a to-do list i try to multitask right i think he meant measurable steppy goals like not planning to study 10 hours in the first day okay yeah yeah then dante i agree with you 100 thank you eduardo for clearing however you should if you need to be able to study 10 12 14 hours in a day if you need to right quick question does a straw uh have one hole or two holes my friends and i have uh good question have been arguing about this all night does it have one hole or two holes so i guess uh, maybe you should think about it as is it are you going to look at it as a 2d or a 3d object so if a room has two doors is that one door is that a good way to, or if a room has an exit two exits is there two exits am i doing could we think about it that way in a metaphor if a room has a door going in and a door going out does it have one hole or two holes i would say two holes right so if a straw has a hole this way so if you're stuck in the middle of the straw you got two different ways of leaving i would say that's two holes no but if you look at the straw in 2d just looking down the hole it would be one hole i guess set a goal but my uh min millennial but already knows it's the journey that should bring the most pleasure it is the journey that should bring the most pleasure 100 percent, not the end game personally you know i've set a goal for myself to create this math content like 10 years ago i said 10 years we're 12 we're 12 years yeah 10 years ago i said 10 years we're 10 years in i'm not there yet right i think it was 12 years ago i said 10 years right now i'm saying it's going to take another 10 to 15 years personally they're probably my time frame is probably going to take me 20 years 25 years do i think i'm ever going to get it done because i could continue to do i don't know i could probably create content like this forever right for the math stuff i don't know if i want to talk politics forever
one. This was a good stream. Very civilized. I like it. I just have to ban one person right off the bat. And by the way, um, the odds are I'm going to load this on BitChute. Okay. I might load this on YouTube. I'm not 100% sure yet. Tomorrow's math stream, it will be loaded on BitChute and on YouTube, but I don't think it's going to be loaded the next day. There might be a little delay before the videos get loaded because rest of is bubble. <laughs> I was bubble gone. Zarya, how you doing? Happy Friday, guys. Chicho, always good to see you. Always good to see you too, Zarya. Um, but because someone brought this to my attention, I didn't realize uh, they they asked for sort of a compilation Chicho video. And I went, oh, yeah, that'd be a great idea. And I looked at how many videos I had up. And the next video we load on BitChute on, uh, on YouTube is the 700th video that's live. I've loaded some more than 700, but I had to take them off okay or they're private or i had to take a couple off and stuff but officially the next video on youtube is going to be our 700th live 700th video that you can see right that is live that everyone can access okay so for that video odds are i'm gonna do a comic book haul video okay the, you would have seen uh couple of the lots that i got because i was showing them on the live stream if you've seen the live streams okay but i'm gonna take those uh out and i'm gonna i grabbed another 15 today so i'm gonna put those together and i'm gonna do a comic book haul video for our 700 video anniversary okay so uh, and it might take a few days for it to come out so there's gonna be a little quiet time on youtube and on bitshoot uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to load this on. If I load this on BitChute as well, uh, on YouTube as well, then I'm going to hold off loading this on uh, BitChute as well. So there might be a little lull period of videos coming out until I shoot the comic book haul video, edit it, and load it up. Okay. If you cut the straw into the shape of a ring, then it's uh, pretty clear one hole, right? Yeah, if you attach it. Boop. Actually, no holes into a ring cut it or attach it but then how long can the straw be before it has two holes oh into a ring so if you look at a 2d yeah that's what we're talking about dice power right so if you look at it a 2d it's one hole that's not to say it uh, doesn't have two holes but it's a uh, Sorrento's paradox if you think it uh, see for me I would I would consider it having two holes right uh, the question is not if a straw has two holes if a 2d straw has two holes or one hole and if a 3d straw has two holes or one hole i think a 3d straw has two holes and a 2d straw has one hole no i said at first it was uh, one hole but the room with two doors metaphor got me thinking a little bit 700 videos yeah eduardo 700 videos how many holes does a ring have? Uh, how many holes does a ring have? True that. But I think a ring... If you think about it this way as well, for a ring, you could have... I'm pretty sure there are gadgets out there for a ring that certain rings into certain instruments, certain technology, right? certain mechanisms would have to go in in a certain way right and if there's water flowing from one side if there's a water flowing let's say from a gasket or something like this right so if the water flowing through some kind of instrument and you need to put a ring to connect this from here some of those rings have you know you have to put the water flow going this way so the ring has to be positioned in a certain way so a ring would have a direction to it as well in and out right how many holes does it ring out? got to go get ready uh, to go out tonight then you thank you for putting up my flaky being <laughs> putting up my flaky being and the smile you always give me you cutie okay thanks dude hope you have a great night tonight friday night out in vegas chaos chaos acclaimed fps 
We're almost been streaming for a couple of hours, gang. Fun. Fun. Friday night. East Coast is three hours ahead. Newfoundland is three and a half. Right? Fr Las Vegas, I think, is an hour ahead. So it's 920. Yeah, get ready. Hit the clubs or something by 11 o'clock. 11.30. Do a little prep beforehand, I guess. Could be fun. For me, Vegas was always about the, the games, not the clubs. Vegas was always about the tables, especially the craps tables. From 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. Best time on the craps table. Could be best time on the craps table. And rush hour during dinner time, it could be really hot as well. I'm East Coast and getting sleepy. Hope I can go to Vegas one day. Cool. East Coast is fun too. Very different mentality than West Coast or Central USA and stuff. Or Central U Canada or East Coast of Canada. Vegas is fun. Used to be fun anyway. I haven't been there for 19 years. Wow. 19, eight, 18, 19 plus or minus a year. I haven't been there long time i almost went i almost went a few years ago about six years ago seven years ago yeah about yeah about six seven years ago i almost caved in i went and got my passport got a stamp even bought a ticket to go to vegas 19 years of my age nice eduardo good age to be almost any age if you're alive any age is good age to be as long as you don't have pains and stuff like this right but about six, seven years ago, I got my passport. I bought my plane ticket. The day before my flight, I called up my friend and said, No, man, I can't cross the border. I don't want to cross the border. Too much, too much, too much, too much. It's too, too stressful. 19. I was 19 recently. I was, I was 19 in these times. In Brazil. In US, in Canada, it's different. I wouldn't tell you the truth, gang. Eduardo, acclaim. I'm 19 too. Wow, we got lots of 19. Katsu, Katsu, 2K. Honestly, I'm happy I'm not 19. I made it through that period and into the 20s. I made it past that period. It was very chaotic from my end anyway yeah I wouldn't want to be and I've told my students this as well I would not want to be in high school they could offer me the world and say hey we're gonna make you 13 years old and go through school again I go do it again nope nope thank you <laughs> not as good as being 20 19 years old are not Millennials you're a Gen Z are they Gen Z is that the classification I think Millennials are like late 20s early 30s now aren't they really gonna look that up now yeah. all this classification of who's who crazy the kicker is the age doesn't matter it's the your perspective in the world in life that matters right I have friends from that are early 20s late 20s early 30s mid 30s like age ranging all the way to like 70. the oldest millennials are pushing 40 are they pushing 40 yeah late 30s i guess cut off from that millennials was like mid 90s right or earlier yeah 1995 was millennials wow so gen z was after 95 96. i see cool and there's another generation after Gen Z. What's the one after Gen Z? But as Chicho said, it's more about the mindset. 100%. 100%. Mindset is everything. That being said, the masses do move in a sort of a generational because they've been under a certain type of programming, right? Propaganda. And the 90s kids are all fairly similar. Yeah. Yeah. There's 90s gang. You're 19. 
you were born in 2000 right or 1999 or 2001 whatever it might be there's a prince song called party like it's 1999 i don't know if that's the name of the song but he sings that the nine 1990s were pretty cool the 80s were amazing the 90s were very cool really the world was had gone through crazy changes with the collapse of the eastern bloc and there was a hope of fresh air to a certain degree there was still chaos if you looked at it the first gulf war uh destruction of yugoslavia the bombing of nato getting involved and being the hegemon and bombing countries and stuff so politically there was a lot of chaos going on economically the whole world wow well, the western world was very prosperous uh and people had a positive outlook to what was coming okay it was a lighter feel way less regulation way less controls right now it's a different feel man the 90s were horrible for the former communist bloc yeah yeah um, in the western world good right for russia horrendous alcoholism the it was basically capitalist takeover of the eastern bloc and just horrendous the west was booming the west was booming right and right now in the west what we're seeing this grunge the 90s had yeah the 90s had so much and people appreciated all the different genres right i would go i'd go to metal shows and then from the metal show we'd go to club that was like hip-hop reggae like sometimes you go to funk sometimes you go to after that you would go to underground raves like in warehouses like at the beginning of the night you're in a metal show metal shows shows are over like 10 30 11 o'clock you go to a club right from like 11 11 30 until like 2 2 30 and then from there you go to after hours warehouse on the ground it was phenomenal right and people got along oh um, no i can't say everyone got along there was a little bit of chaos in the western world but people were prosperous okay uh not so right now there's a lot of pressure on uh, on the youth in our society um, unfortunately unfortunately nice conversations gang nice conversations thanks for being here i went a little heavy there with the ms stuff rightfully so i'll tell you guys a story about it one day And, it, and Eduardo will be entheogen related okay interesting interesting life life is interesting very important to have a perspective from different one one advice I can give you all of you who are 19 make sure you're interacting and talking with people from different age groups much older than you and also interact with people that are younger than you in a good way to get information tomorrow's math with uh gentle chaos yeah and tomorrow's math by the way the 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 problem that he proposed i haven't had a chance to look into it anymore i'm really busy with my students and just and i have students in two different cities right now and i'm doing uh what do you call it online as well so i'm managing the both so i haven't had uh any time to look into the solutions the solution is beyond my my ability of mathematics that i can tap to right now however in tomorrow's stream for the math i'll we'll talk about the problem present the problem i'll give you my initial take on the problem and then we'll provide a couple of links there's like three links in discord where people have provided solutions and then we'll talk to chat to see what chat has to say about us finding a solution to this problem maybe an equation that gentle chaos needs to put into their spreadsheet right to get those distances going on it should be fun i'm personally hoping to learn something if we don't come up with a solution uh that we can understand or i can understand i can people can write it down i might not understand it to put it on the board right so 
if we don't come up with a solution, then we're, we would have at least provided uh, a stream where the problem has been presented. So if anybody that wants, they can go to Discord and provide the solutions and stuff like this. So I just want to act as a node, uh, a node to sort of for the flow of information because I'm finding that interesting as well, right? It's something I am interested in with math and gentle chaos. Put out the video, it's a fantastic video, right? And I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. It's a great, great problem. I love it, right? So tomorrow at 10 a.m., uh, we'll do okay, yeah. I will give those links a look before the stream, okay? I, I'll try, but I, I, the odds are I won't be able to. Uh, I looked at them when uh, Gentle Chaos proposed them right away, and usually I, that's one of the things for uh, Eduardo. You ask for uh, mo not motivation, but uh, uh, to do things right. Uh, for me, when something comes comes across my radar, or something that I need to do, usually I try to do it right away. If it's if if I've already read something about it, it's already the idea is bouncing around in my head then I try to take that a little bit further and solidify it. And that's how I found those links and gave my perspective on the problem. Okay. And then, and then I went to the beach and laid out some of the things I'll, I'll show you guys what I thought about and what I drew. Um, I was hoping to go further on it, but I haven't, I haven't had time. Uh, gentle chaos proposed a problem with a crazy period. Uh, last month, two months of school year is very busy, very busy. Uh, so that's about it, gang. Thanks for being here. Uh, thank you for uh, the conversations. Uh, a lot of fun, a lot of info. Uh, pleasure uh, to be here. Uh, pleasure to host these. Okay. And we're definitely going to keep on doing a lot more of these things. Uh, and I like having these uh, streams, doing these current event streams once a week because we're getting we've already covered all the noise now we're getting into deeper topics and and it's nice it's calmer and it's not about emotion it's about information right i love it thanks Eclay. i wonder if your online class can transfer in terms of credit for my university i'd love to do uh, be a student of yeah one day maybe i'll set up a legit system where you can actually get credentials from our online stuff but right now i'm not there uh not even close i am working with the school right now uh, but they're providing the the curriculum and i'm helping their students get through the curriculum right they've already asked me to put together a curriculum uh a version anyway a preliminary thing and i'm going to work on it this summer uh, because i was doing that anyway my modules i told them sure i'm going to start off with a module that's going to be pre the real number set something that we did for the mathematics right so hopefully by throughout the summer you're going to see a module come up and the modules really going to kick it down to the basics elementary school talking about counting adding and multiplying and then linking that up with subtracting and dividing right and then finishing off the loop so that's a module that i'm going to start working on most likely to do counting adding and multiplying in one module okay that's what i'm going to try to get done for this summer fun nice challenging challenging myself for it anyway which is great okay okay gang uh, i hope you have a fantastic evening uh, and if you can make it tomorrow i'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll definitely be doing live streams mid next week and towards the end of next week as well okay aside from that I'll see you guys in the nice next uh, live stream or video. Bye for now.